Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a lip product declutter for you. I'm going to be starting out with balms and sort of clear glosses. Excuse my table, I spilled makeup on it before. This declutter I'm gonna be as ruthless as I possibly can because I probably did a lip product declutter, oh no, six months ago or so, and I still just have way too much for what I actually use. I hardly ever actually wear colored lip products these days. I'm all about the sort of lip balm life at the moment. So I just don't need as much. I'm gonna try and be as ruthless as I possibly can. At the bare minimum, I need to get rid of 50%. So starting out with sort of balms and glosses, I do also have my Bi Terry Balm de Rose, which sits next to my bed, and the, I think it's Clavu Lip Sleeping Mask, which is in my skincare cupboard. I'm keeping those two, obviously. I'm gonna get rid of these three Mecca Cosmetica. These are their like sort of lip balm sticks. And these were fine, but I just don't really reach for them very often. And I didn't think they were like amazing, amazing. So I think I really just kept them because the packaging is really beautiful and like aesthetic. <laughs> I will hold on to this Aesop lip balm. This is SPF 30, good one for summer. I'm gonna get rid of this Dear Dahlia Lip Paradise Blooming Balm. This was just a bit average, very drying. Love the packaging though, it's very cute. As well as the lip gloss, again, very drying sort of product. This is in the shade Stardust. Yeah, just didn't feel very good on the lips, but it's so cute. I will keep my Buxom White Russian Lip gloss. I think I'll get rid of this little one though because it's quite old and I've got the full size now. So I'll keep that. I'll get rid of this by Terry Balm de Rose liquid. I much prefer the pot formula and this has been open quite a while and it's just actually looking a bit like gross. I think I'll get rid of this MAC Prep and Prime lip primer because it's such an extra step that I never use. So I'll get rid of that. I'm going to hold on to this Essence Prettifying Lip Oil. This is in the color one. Oh one, I care for you, honey. It is completely like clear when you actually, you know, like put it on the lips, um, but it just looks yellow on the tube. This is such a nice lip oil. It's really conditioning. I think you can only buy this in Canada, or at least our essence store, like our essence stands don't stock it. I got sent this from a subscriber and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of this Too Faced Sweet Peach Gloss. It's actually really nice, but I just don't really reach for it. The scent of it is beautiful. I just don't really reach for it. It was like a little sample I got in a Mecca box. And I actually think I will get rid of this. The Lipstick Queen Altered Universe Lip Gloss in Time Warp. I love the way this like looks like when you swatch it. It's so beautiful and shimmery and gorgeous. Glimmers like anything, but it's a really sticky lip gloss formula. It's a bit too uncomfortable for me to wear. I've got other formulas I prefer. I do have other like lip glosses and stuff to talk about, but they're a bit more like pigmented colored ones. So out of that, I'm gonna keep three of those products and get rid of all of those. Last time I did my lip product declutter, I did it by like brand and type. So I'd like grab all my Marc Jacobs ones together, all my Stila liquid lipsticks, for example. But I think that's why I ended up with so many products still because I ended up with like so many red lip colors and ultimately a red is a red. So this time that's why I'm trying to do it by color sort of family. So this is sort of nude colors. Right off the bat, I will hold on to my two MAC ones. I've got Blankety, which you can see is an absolute, what do we call this, guys? A nubbin. It's a nubbin. Quite a nice deep nude. It's certainly not actually the type of nude that I tend to reach for actually at the moment, but I will never get rid of it because it looks really, really flattering on my skin tone. This is Flesh Pot, and you know what? Actually, I think I will get rid of Flesh Pot. That is just not a color I've reached for in a long time. If I'm gonna wear a really, really light colored nude, I'll reach for a gloss. So I'll get rid of Flesh Pop. It's also really old. And I'll keep my blankety. I do have a backup of this as well in my backups drawer. My Marc Jacobs lip glosses. I've got the actual lip gloss here. This is in Sugar Sugar. So the actual wand formula, definitely keeping that. One of my absolute favorites. And I will keep the enamored gloss stick in Sugar Sugar as well because I really like the color. I just prefer the formula of the original lip gloss over the stick, but I'm gonna make a point to kind of use this up and then I wouldn't I wouldn't repurchase this. I would just continue to purchase the actual gloss. This is actually my second one of these. I had a trial size first that I loved and used up completely and then repurchased the full size. So definitely a big favorite of mine. I'm gonna pass on this Bare Minerals Forbidden gloss. This used to be one of my absolute favorites, but I just prefer the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. The, the smell, the smells absolutely beautiful like out of all the products this probably is the nicest scent it smells like cake batter like it's so delicious the color forbidden is a little bit more pinky than i prefer for a gloss i like a real nude gloss so i'm gonna pass that one on i enjoyed it while it lasted i have this designer brand's lavish lip gloss in nude mood i really did try to like this i think the formula is quite nice 
but the color of this is almost a bit too light and peachy and I can get a very similar effect if I just use like a clear lip gloss over top of my natural lip color. I've got a couple of the NYX butter glosses in tiramisu and creme brulee. This is a, again a beautiful formula. Um, I think though tiramisu might be a little bit too deep for what I actually sort of am leaning towards these days. I think I'll keep creme brulee because it's a bit more my color and declutter tiramisu. I'm going to get rid of this dose of colors desert suede lip product. This is actually a really cool kind of tanny brown but I don't wear those sorts of colors anymore especially in like a liquid lipstick so I'll pass on that. Oh man this is so old I should really get rid of it but it's the best color. It's L'Oreal I think it's called the infallible lip color in nude ballet. At least nude ballet is the shade and it's such a nice lip gloss shade but it's actually very similar to Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar and this is honestly about four years old which for lip gloss is just too old so I'm very very sad to part with this because you guys know if you've watched my channel for many years you know I loved nude ballet but she's just a bit too old. I'm gonna get rid of this Makeup Revolution lipstick and chauffeur I was gonna do like a Makeup Revolution video but I've kind of lost interest in that and don't really like this lip color anyway so if I decide to do that again I'd rather order a color I like. I'm gonna get rid of this Dear Dahlia product. I pretty much all the Dear Dahlia products I've tried I haven't loved, loved but I think the packaging's gorgeous so I get sucked in. It's just a bit of a weird sort of color. These are not swatching so well on top of it. So I'll get rid of that. I have this Maybelline lipstick and tantalizing taupe which is a really really good dupe for MAC Blankety. Mine's looking a bit like gross, but I actually think I'll hold on to it because it's probably the best dupe that I've come across and I always get asked what's a good dupe for MAC Blankety. Like they're slightly different, but it's really hard to dupe this product. So, or I could just tell people. I've used it so many times in videos. Actually no, I'll get rid of it because it's so old and like all melted. I don't know if you can see. It's sort of like melted a lot. They're, they don't have very good integrity, these Maybelline lipsticks, but the colors are nice. I will hold on to this, the e.l.f. lip color in natural. This is one of my favorite nude lip colors. Again, very, 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 very similar to MAC Blankety, but I actually love the formula of this one even better than the Maybelline one, so I will keep that. I'm going to get rid of this Stella Color Balm lipstick in Jessie. I actually really did enjoy this for a time. It was one of my favorites. But the oh, it smells like peppermint, like a candy cane. It's so nice. Um, I love the sheen that this has, but the color of it is a little bit, probably a wee bit too like Kylie Jenner circa like three years ago, which is not really my jam anymore. So I think I'll pass that one on. I have these two L'Oreal Color Shine, Color Reese Shine lip colors in Hot in Real Life and Topless. And I think I'll get rid of Hot in Real Life. That's just not really my color and it's a bit patchy the deeper colors of these um topless i think is actually quite a nice shade but <sighs> nah nah let me swatch that next <laughs> mac blankety i'm going to use up the rest of this oh they're very similar as well actually i think i will keep topless i want to try that one on my lips a bit more see if i enjoy um i'm going to get rid of this little stealer Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Dolce. I adore this formula. You guys know that. I will be keeping quite a few Stila liquid lipsticks, but I just don't really wear this color. It's a bit too warm toned for me. The color Dolce. I also have the color Caramello in a mini and a large. And I'm actually thinking of maybe getting rid of the large one because it's quite old and just keeping the mini. I don't wear this color very often these days. And if I need to, if I feel inclined, I can use the mini. So I'll get rid of my big one. And then there's this color Fear, which I remember taking this on tour to China with the orchestra and wearing this one day. And I felt like I was smearing like poop on my lips or something. I just didn't actually end up enjoying that color that much. And then I've got the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Audition. Again, this one's kind of all melted a bit like the Maybelline one. They just are so soft. Um, so I think I'll get rid of that finally. I do really like the Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks though. And this is NARS Chelsea Girls. I haven't used this lip color in a long time. Much prefer the Marc Jacobs one. Let's just be real with this. And then the By Terry Lip Expert Shine and Baby Beige. I got sent these recently, like the whole collection. I donated without even trying the colors quite a few. And then the ones that I did try, I honestly think I'm going to get rid of them. They're just, I liked them, but I didn't love them. So. I'm only keeping things that I really love. 
I still think that is too many sort of nudey light colored products, but whatever. Let's just quickly talk about liners. I'm gonna get rid of this MAC Riri Woo pencil. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't use a red lip liner. And to be honest, if I needed one desperately, I could just pick one up at the drugstore. This is like six years old or something. Like I bought this in New Zealand. It absolutely needs to get out of my collection. And I'm also gonna just get rid of all of, I'm gonna get rid of all of these except this one. The Essence Draw the Line liner in the shade So Ungrateful. This is the color I'm actually using quite a lot lately. It's a really nice kind of mauvey color and if you use it really lightly without pushing too hard, it actually just mimics the color of my natural lip color, which is a bit mauvey. These three colors, I've got MAC Night Moth, I just don't wear vampy lips anymore. Saw is just a little bit too, as you say, that deep sort of Kylie Jenner lip color look. And Bare Minerals, Gen Nude and Borderline, again, it's the same problem. It's a little bit too tan. That's why I really like this Essence one because it's very, 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 very mauve. So this can be my one lip liner. <laughs> then we have some more kind of neutral lip colors, but these are a little bit more sort of mauve in tone, although I might have mixed up a few nudes in here because it was a bit hard to separate the categories. I'm going to start with one I'm going to keep, the e.l.f. Lip Color in Tea Rose. This is very similar to e.l.f. Natural, but it's a bit more mauve and I really like this one as well, so keep that. I'm gonna get rid of this. Lipstick Queen Crazed Grage. It's a nice mauve, but I, I don't think I'd wear that color all over my entire lip. I'll get rid of this Buxom Lip Liner. Oh, this is a lip liner too. I thought this was a jumbo lip pencil, but this is actually a lip liner. Again, that looks very much like MAC Saw. It's too, too tan colored. Flower Beauty Dark and Stormy Miracle Matte Lip. Bought this for a tutorial. And it did look nice for the shoot, but it's certainly not a color that I sort of would rock on a regular basis. Got some very similar colors in other formulas that I prefer. For example, Stila, the liquid lipstick in ba Bachi, Baki. You guys have told me how to say that before and I fail to remember. That's that kind of nice mauvey color anyway. And I much, much, much prefer the formula of this. Got a tiny bit more pink than that Lipstick Queen one, which comes off as very purple on my lips. So I'll keep... Bachi, <laughs> Bucky. I'm not really enjoying patina as much these days. I'll get rid of my large patina. This one is about four years old, it needs to go. And I'll keep my baby one. It's not really a color I typically wear, but I do love the formula and I like, I like that it's mini. It doesn't take up too much room. Um, I'll get rid of this Essence Matte Matte Matte. That's literally what it says on it. Matte Matte Matte. Like I'm not lying. <laughs> this is again a very sort of deep plummy sort of mauvey color, but I think I don't really need that in my collection. Gonna get rid of the sleek major matte lip cream and daydreamer. I have not ever really reached for that. This is the designer brands lavish lip gloss and brown sugar. It's nice, but again, this formula, I just don't love it as much as the Marc Jacobs one. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Brutal. These though are the designer brands long wear matte lip colors. So these are like liquid lipsticks. These are both very sort of mauvey colors. I've already got patina, don't really need that one. And this is must have mauve, which might be quite similar to, ooh, that one is a wee bit watery. So I'll get rid of that as well. These are NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments. I adore the red one, but I don't really reach for these mauvey colors. Oh, such a good formula, but I'll keep the red one, I know for sure. So I'll get rid of these two. Save the Queen, and this one is Haze. We have these two Milani lip colors. They're actually both the shade Naked, but one of them is matte and one of them is non-matte formula. So the matte formula smells like vanilla and the non-matte color smells like fake watermelon. Oh, I think a lot of Americans say Jolly Ranchers. I've never had those before. If out of the two I was gonna keep them, I'd probably keep the shiny one, but I'm not even sure if I need to keep it. We've got Urban Decay Back Talk as well, which is one of my favorites, I think. I'll get rid of these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I think Stockholm from memory is a little bit, yeah, a bit too peachy for me these days. And this is a mini of Los Angeles and I believe that is nearly, yeah, that's pretty much run out, sort of lost its pigmentation. By Terry Lip Glosses in the shade Rosy Kiss and Cream Orchid. I thought these would be really pretty but they just don't suit me. I just didn't really love them enough to keep them. Milani Soft Rose Lip Gloss. I don't need to keep it. I'm just trying to be so ruthless. I think I'll keep these two. The Urban Decay Back Talk, definitely. That's that one there. But do I need to keep one of these Milani? It's probably good to keep at least one of the Milani. Maybe Pile. 
Then we've got this little hourglass refill in the shade I've Been. Oh, see, they all look the same. <laughs> I'll get rid of that because it doesn't even have like its proper container. This is why I look in my lipstick drawer and just get confused because they're all so similar but so different. I'm going to keep this Urban Decay one and this Milani one in a maybe pile because I'm just not sure. I just don't really wear those sorts of colours anymore but I love the colours if you know what I mean. Like I vouch for them. I think they're great. I'll happily recommend them to you guys but whether I want to keep them in my collection, I'm not sure. This collection is like bold, bright lip sticks that are not red because reds are by far my hardest category and that's what I'm finishing with. I tried this NARS long wear lip pencil the other day and what wasted and I mean look these berry lip colors are just not me anymore. I think they looked a lot better on me when I had darker hair like when I used to have like brunette hair these colors just made me pop like I looked very light it was that snow white thing of the fair skin dark hair bold lip I don't know there's something about a berry lip which is just not sitting with me well anymore so I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot of these get rid of this Ulta matte lip cream and striking this is like very similar to Kat Von D Bauhaus which I got rid of in my last declutter but it's like a similar color. I'm gonna get rid of this. <laughs> I remember umming and ahhing a bit over this last time. It's the Too Faced Melted Matte and Jawbreaker. The color itself, I just love looking at it. It looks really, really awesome. And I've I've worn it before in a tutorial, but like that's just not really me anymore. A bright, vibrant lilac. I'll get rid of this color, L'Oreal color Plum Tuxedo. It's very similar to MAC Rebel, but I would rather keep MAC Rebel over that one. That's MAC Rebel there. Just slightly deeper and richer. I really like that color. It's an old favorite, so that's staying. Got Stila Aria. Wear this one quite a bit on stage, so I'll keep that. Oh, but this is kind of similar. Maybe I could keep Bucker instead. Oh, they're so similar, but so different. Damn. I think I'll keep Bucker, actually, because it is, it's a nice small size, and I'm sort of doing that. I'm keeping my smaller Stila ones over the larger, because I just don't wear liquid lipsticks as often as I used to, and I'm not getting through these, and this is about three or four years old, and that way this is such a similar color, Bucker, that um, I can enjoy the formula, and I won't feel like I'll be able to actually get through that. I'll get rid of this Makeup Forever Lipstick and Artist Rouge. I just haven't really reached for that. I don't wear bright pink very often and if I do There is a color in here that I know I'll keep. This is the Buxom Vava Plump Lipstick in Wine Me. I if I ever used that. Don't remember. Milani Plum Rose. I think I just... Nah, that's, that's actually a little bit too pink so I'll get rid of that. Physicians Formula Vitamin Beat. I mean that's very similar to that Stila one and I don't think I necessarily loved this formula particularly, so I'll get rid of that. Get rid of these two NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. This colour in Paris is actually really cool, it's really bright, but I have a different formula that I prefer, it's less moussey, which is this one. The designer brand's Matte Longwear Lip Gloss in Everlasting. This is such an amazing colour. If I want to wear a bright pink, that is the colour I go for. It's like a true Barbie hot pink. It's amazing. This little NYX Matte Cream in Rome. Again, it's like, it's pretty much running out. It's like lost all its pigmentation. I'm going to get rid of this L'Oreal Sexy Balm. This is in the shade Sheer Gossip. It's actually really pretty, but like gosh, I don't remember the last time I picked that up. I'll get rid of this shade. The models prefer Velvet Lipstick in Hello Hawaii. Very cool shade. Not something I typically reach for. And if I want an orange, this is the one that I love the most. Longcom Lobsolu Rouge in Rouge Flamboyant. Kind of similar, a little bit more ready orange, really pigmented, like a lot more pigmented, smooth formula, absolutely gorgeous packaging and everything. It's very nice. MAC Lady Danger. Do I even, do I even wear this? Oh my gosh, it's so similar. I think I'll get rid of my Lady Danger. I can do a back to MAC on this. Um, it's about halfway used. And I'll get rid of this Flower Beauty one in Petal Pout as well. It's actually a really cool color. Again, <laughs> it's like so similar. I prefer the long comb formula. This Charlotte Tilbury one is such a nice formula again. It's in the shade Shanghai Nights. It's a little bit more of a deep plummy color, but I don't wear something as vampy as that anymore. So I'm gonna pass this one on, sadly. Then I have these two like shimmery kind of liquid lipsticks. This Lipstick Queen one in Cheers, I've worn before and I've had so many comments on it, like people always wondering what it is. It's a really unique formula. Then I have the designer brand's Precious Metal Lip Cream in the shade Night Orchid. But I don't think I would necessarily reach for something like that anymore, so I will get rid of them, but they are very cool. Particularly this Lipstick Queen one, it's, it's a beautiful color. Wow, we did good in that one, guys. Finally, 
we have red lip colors. I left these to the end because red lip colors are probably the hardest thing for me to declutter. I love a good red lip color. Like if I am going to wear anything other than a nude lip balm or lip gloss, it's gonna be a bright red lip. Problem is red lips tend to look like red lips. Like there's not as much variety as different shades of mauve and you know, different shades of orange and all this. So a lot of these do look the same on the lips and I don't think I need to keep as many as I've got. Let's start with the most embarrassing thing to admit. I have these two Lisa Aldridge lipsticks. They're her like velvet lipsticks and they're in the shade Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Jazz. Now I ordered these back when she released them in say November I think it was and I haven't used them. <laughs> They're still in the packaging. They're so utterly beautiful to look at. The actual bullet, I don't know if you can see, looks like velvet. There's an imprint on the lipstick. And I have not used these because I wanted to take photos of them, which is pathetic because I wouldn't really put a photo like this on my Instagram now anyway. So I don't know why I haven't just gone ahead and used them and enjoyed them. And they've sat in my collection and I've just done nothing. So I will absolutely keep these and I will use them. Everything about these lip colors is stunning. I'm just really angry at myself about being too precious of the velvet aesthetic that I haven't even used them. This color here is velvet jazz. See, this is still even in his light little packaging. Stupid. This one's like a deep bricky kind of vamp, like vintage red. Gorgeous, so gorgeous. But yeah, silly Anna. I'm gonna get rid of this again. It's another one of those Dear Dahlia lipsticks. It's actually probably one of my favorite products that I've tried from them. It's in the shade Ruby, but it's just so similar to some other colors that I have that I don't need it. I've gotta be ruthless with the red because I've got so many and they're all very similar. I will get rid of these two NARS liquid lipsticks. These are the power matte, but the lip luster. So these are the shimmery power mattes. I'm gonna get rid of those. I've got shade Pierce and Combat, which is a red and a pink, but I will keep one of the power mattes. This is a small size in the shade Star Woman. This, you guys know, I've talked about before, is one of my favorites. It's like a really, really, really deep crimson red. Stila. Liquid Lipstick and Baso, one of my absolute favorites. But again, this is a very, very, very old tube. So I do think, and I remember, yeah, I can like straight, scraping the sides of this. So I think it's time to say goodbye to him. But it's okay, because I have a mini size. <laughs> so I will hold on to my mini Baso, because it's probably one of my favorite reds of all time. And I'm gonna hold on to Baso Shimmer, because my gosh, over Christmas time I wore this, and you wouldn't believe the amount of compliments I get like in real life from this color because it's a shimmery red. It looks like a like a bauble, a Christmas bauble. It's so pretty, so definitely keeping that. I have another one of the Stila ones, but this is in Rubino. I think I'll get rid of that. That's not really a color I've been reaching for. And besides, I'm keeping that Lisa Aldridge Velvet Jazz color, which I think will probably look quite similar. I just don't need this one. I think that was one that came like free in a set anyway. I don't remember actually buying that color. I'll get rid of this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip and Star Cross. These just don't hold up. I bought this specifically for my ColourPop video um, and it is a nice color, but the actual formula of the ColourPop Ultra Mattes lasts about six months. They're just, they're not worth the money even though they are really affordable. Yeah, it's a real shame because they are a great formula, but they just don't last. I'll get rid of this Azalique Cosmetics in the color, lipstick in the color Ready Red. I just don't need to keep this. It is quite a nice bricky red, like it's a little bit different. Again, I'm gonna keep that Lisa Aldridge one, which Lisa did talk about how her Velvet Jazz is very much a vintage brick red kind of color. I'll get rid of this little Urban Decay Bad Blood Comfort Mattes. I don't even want to open this because I remember opening this last time and it fell out, like it's a bit broken, but it's just a classic bright red, so I'll just get rid of that. And I'll also get rid of this uh, Maybelline Lipstick in Dynamic Red. It is a really nice color. It's actually a very good dupe for like MAC Ruby Woo, but mine is a bit old. Again, the Maybelline lipsticks don't have very good longevity. It's getting a bit gross. And on that note, actually, let's talk MAC. <laughs> I am going to move my Ruby Woo to my sentimental makeup box because this is so old. I got this when I was in New Zealand before I moved here. So this must be about six years old, <gasps> gross. Um, but I treasure this. Alex bought this for me when we were back in New Zealand. So it's a real treasure of mine. I've not wanted to part with it for so long because it, it has a lot of sentimental value. Um, it was one of the first sort of bright reds that I ever had, but it's just 
gotten really old it certainly is even like harder to use these days formula wise but it has a special place in my heart so that can go on my sentimental like makeup museum but i will keep this one this is the matte lipstick in rouge on snow which was from the holiday collection 2017 and this is a much nicer kind of smooth formula it's still matte but it's not like an ultra matte like ruby woo where it's a little bit drying limited edition packaging it's very beautiful so i'll keep that i'll get rid of this chi chi viva la diva lipstick in bit boy magnet i just haven't used this in a while and i did my best red lipstick video and my Anna awards last year i've showed a lot of these products in that that I'm getting rid of I just don't need to keep holding on to them if I've already done like swatches and stuff so I just don't need this much red lipstick so even though I think this is great I recommend it but I don't need to keep it in my collection I'll get rid of this the MGS lip gloss and stormy or liquid lipstick I kept this last time thinking I'd try it and I just haven't and I've just kind of lost interest in actually really using it and I'll get rid of this wet and wild liquid cat suit as well in Missy and Fierce. I just much prefer my Stila one or the NARS one over this product. But I will keep, I think, this one. It's the designer brand's Precious Metal Lip Cream in Red Handed. This is quite similar to the Stila liquid lipstick in Baso Shimmer. It's very, very pretty and I really like the formula. So I'll keep that one. It's a good drugstore liquid lipstick to have. And I'll get rid of this as well, the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte in Scarlet Silhouette. Again, it's a nice color, maybe um, a touch to sort of neutral warm for me. I prefer a slightly more blue based red on my particular complexion anyway. These NARS lip colors, these were all sent to me. This one is Rebel. It's a lot like MAC Rebel. And this one is Clash. Okay easy i will keep riot the bright red because it is pretty and it like it drew on so smooth it's got a nice formula these ones are seemed just a tiny bit more patchy so i'll pass on those i've got these smashbox matte lipsticks in the shade bing oh this is so nice and the shade unzipped i think i'll get rid of unzipped it's a little bit more of like a pinky berry and i kept a couple of berries anyway i just i haven't don't remember the last time i actually wore that kind of shade but bing is really nice i think i'll keep this because i'm getting rid of ruby Woo. i'll keep bing it's a nice color okay so this is the hourglass like little skinny lip pencil the skinny lipstick and my icon is i just i love the packaging of this mainly um i haven't worn this color in a while Oh, but it is smooth. And then this is the L'Oreal Colorish Shine and Insanation. Insanation. Oh, how do you say that? Insanation. It's number 350. <laughs> oh, I know I said I was going to keep this one, but I don't think I actually wear a red quite that glossy. It is very, very glossy, as you can see. And all I can think is that's going to end up on my teeth in like two seconds. So I think I will pass it on. The formula of these is very comfortable, but oh nah i want to be ruthless i've already kept a few reds this one though i actually think i will keep this hourglass one because it is it does have a bit of a sheen but it's not quite as glossy as this l'oreal one and it's very small it can fit into my collection very easily <laughs> i just have to make a point to actually pick it up and use it because i do know guilty in the back of my mind i can tell you that i haven't worn that hourglass one in a long time but maybe that's because it was at the bottom of my drawer and i couldn't see it so that is all the red ones that i'm keeping which is still too many red lipsticks really but i i feel like i've got quite a variety so these lip colors are all the ones that i'm going to keep and this giant mountain here are all the ones that i'm going to get rid of i mean i'm sad to see some of them go but i'm also just like looking at this going this is so much more achievable i will actually use these and love them even though i can't donate these because they're lip products um, I still know I've got a few friends that could probably pick through it. I've learnt my lesson. I don't need to collect lip products because I just don't wear them as much as I used to. And it's so wasteful. Like, there's a lot of plastic here that will probably just end up in landfill. Even if I try and recycle it, it's just very difficult to recycle lip products. Lesson learned. I'm going to try and use up and enjoy what I love and never let this happen again. Oh, and my lone little MAC lipstick over there is going into my special collection. <laughs> If you enjoyed this declutter then don't forget to subscribe i actually do still have a couple more follow-up videos to go even though this series has pretty much come to an end and as i say i'll probably keep decluttering other parts of my beauty collection besides makeup as well at later dates so if you're interested definitely subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye